friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play Let's Dance, as recorded by David Bowie, featuring Niall Rogers and Stevie Ray Vaughan on guitar. Now, this is a great song to work on your guitar playing and learn some cool chords, some funky rhythms, and it's great for even playing blues licks over as well. But real quick, if you're new to the channel, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And this is what I visualize visualize and I see when I look down on the guitar neck and it's just a simple system based off five chords and scales and you can grab it completely for free just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or you can click that first link down below you can grab it right there as my gift to you so hope you enjoy that and with that said Let's break it down. All right, so the tune starts off with this build. You know, the whole band is just sort of building in on this E flat seven chord. And we're gonna play four bars, we're gonna go. And then we're into the main figure. So what I'm playing there is an E flat seven chord. I'm playing just the middle strings of the guitar. Six, five, six, four. Looks like a C chord, but I just added my pinky on the third string. Now I'm muting, of course, the low E and the high E. And then what you do is you add a little bit of a palm mute with your strum hand. We're gonna play all downs, one and two and three and four and, and we're gonna gradually release the palm mute and gradually get louder over four bars. So it's sort of like this, one, Do that sort of crescendo, that build in, and then we play this. All right, this next part is an eight bar figure, and we're going to play a chord in the first bar and then rest for the second bar and just alternate. There's four chords you need to know. Let me show them to you. The first one is a B flat minor 11 chord. It's a nice kind of jazz sounding voicing here. I'm playing just the top four strings for this one. Eight, 10, nine, 11. I'm using my index ring middle pinky. So that's the first chord. Then we're gonna move to this. This is eight, 10, eight, nine. This chord is called B flat minor six. Then we move to a G flat six chord, which looks like a bar chord here, your typical kind of A shape bar chord at the ninth fret. But we're gonna hang over that ring finger and bar to the first string. So it's nine, 11, 11, 11, 11. That chord is called G flat six. And then the final chord is B flat minor seven. And this is eight, 10, nine, nine. So, so far I've got all four of these chords. B flat minor 11, B flat minor six, G flat six, and B flat minor seven. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna play a rhythm in one bar and then we're gonna rest in the second bar. So here's what I play for the rhythm. I go. And then I rest in the second bar. So this is one E and a two E and a three and four and. So we're using more of a 16th note kind of feel. We're gonna play on the first beat down and then on the last 16th note of that beat. So one E and a. One E and a, two E and a. In the second beat, we'll play on the offbeat 16th notes. So two E and a, the E and the a. So the first two beats go one E and a, two E and a. Then we'll finish with three and two downs, three and, and then rest on beat four. So one E and a, two E and a, three and four and. Rest, two, three, four. Here it is again. 
if I counted the strumming directions here, or said the strumming directions, it would go down, up, 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 down, down. One E and a two E and a three and four and. Then we put that with the chords. So after that, it would go to the second shape, which is the B flat minor six. Rest to G flat six. Then back to the final chord, B flat minor seven. And that's it. So that's sort of the main groove, the main figure. Here it is one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, next chord. One, two, next chord. One, two, last chord. Rest, two, three, four, then it all repeats. Now the only other section you need to know is what I call the B section. And here's a little bit of what that sounds like. We're gonna use some bar chords. All right, so we start out on an A flat chord here, and this is on the fourth fret. Just your typical major bar chord here, four, six, six, five, four, four. Now we're gonna strum that, this is gonna last for eight counts. So one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we go to D flat, and then E flat. These are bar chords here, fourth fret and sixth fret. These are gonna last two beats each. One, two, switch, two, one, two, switch, two, then back to A flat. Hold that for eight counts, and then. Now this part here goes to what I call an E flat 11 chord. You just need one finger to play this chord. It sounds complicated, it's, it's not too bad. Just one finger we're gonna play from strings five down to one, all of the strings at the sixth fret. And here we're gonna play that for two bars. Eighth note strumming, then we go. And then the intro again. Okay, so here I went to A flat, then F minor, which is on the first fret here. One, three, three, one, one, one. Then D flat, one, two, three, four. Then we tie this in with the intro, which is that big build on E flat seven. For four bars. And back to the main figure. So that's the B section. So let me put all of that together for you so you can hear it in one take. Here we go. One, two, A flat. Two, three, four, one, two, to D flat. B flat and D flat, E flat and A flat, two, three, four, to E flat 11. Going on, A flat, F minor, D flat, and the big build, one. Two, three, four. One, two, G flat. One, two, B flat minor seven. So there it is. Those are all the sections that you need to know to make it through Let's Dance. Hope you enjoyed that. Now to help you even more, be sure to grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And in fact, a lot of these chords that we went over, sort of this E-shaped bar chord, this A-shaped bar chord, you're gonna see those shapes on this fretboard guide. And I'm also gonna tie in the scales that go together. So this will help you with your lead playing for soloing over progressions, but also just 
giving you a way to look down at the fretboard and sort of map it all out. And as I said, this works for any style of music and any key, it's gonna just give you the system that I use for the neck. So you can grab your copy completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or you can click the first link down below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you in another video real soon.